The NBA's slam dunk contest had its inauguration in 1976 when the great Dr. J, Julius Irving, won the slam dunk contest in the ABA. Not the NBA, for all you youngsters, the ABA. Now, we have seen this sort of event uh, transgress into a lesser product. Maybe because, have we seen all the dunks before? Possibly. Have we seen them throw it off the backboard, throw it off the top of the shot clock, throw it off the side of the basket, what have you? Yes, but now the NBA is differing its ways and finding a way for us to reconnect and maybe find a new found love in the NBA's slam dunk contest. It is the final event of the night for good reason. The All-Star Game is taking place in New Orleans and here are going to be the competitors and then I will give you the new rules that may draw you in a little more. The ones that are competing in the slam dunk contest, Terrence Ross, Paul George, and John Wall. Good names. For the West, Damian Lillard, Harrison Barnes, and rookie Ben McLemore. All fine names. Maybe we are drawn to the smaller guys taking advantage of the dunk contest a la Nate Robinson, a la Spud Webb. But uh, maybe this is just a random thought. Are all of you who are watching this clip right now, do you value seeing a guy who is 6'1", 6'2", rather than a Serge Ibaka, JaVale McGee, who borders on 6'10". Just a, th a food for thought. Love to hear from all of you in the comments. So here are the big changes. It is going to be the East against the West. What? Yeah, apparently that's what it's going to be. So each team, or excuse me, team and individual awards are going to be distributed at the conclusion. The first round is going to be, quote, a freestyle event with a layup line of dunks. That decides who dunks first. The second round is a battle round where each team goes up head to head. So, for example, Paul George could go up against Dame Lillard. Harrison Barnes could go up against John Wall. Ben McLemore could go up against Terrence, uh, Terrence Ross. And the judges will pick the winner and you, the fans, decide who is the number one dunker of the night. So a new format to what seems like a dunk contest that has, has been drastically dying in the last few years, maybe again because we have seen the dunks before, or we just aren't as impressed anymore with the dunk contest. Me personally, I'm in favor of it. Whatever you can possibly do to make the event more unique and make it connect with fans in a better way and better the product, sure, I have no problem with that. The NBA, for one, David Stern has left. He had a very, very nice reign, and he left some lasting impressions, whether they are positive or sour for your team or your fan base or even for rules that have been uh, inaugurated as well in the National Basketball Association. Adam Silver has taken over. Is this his first uh, unique way of dealing with the NBA? Possibly. I don't know exactly who came up with it. But here's what we do know. The NBA seems to be way far ahead of its time when it comes to replays, when it comes to rules, and when it comes to suspending players. We maybe took a little bit of time with the NFL, the NFL's management did, but what I like about the NBA is they are trying so many new things. Whether it comes to the jerseys or new rules and regulations, I'm all in favor of what they are doing, and I'm in favor of diversifying not only the way that we go about the All-Star Game and the All-Star Weekend, but now the dunk contest. Are you guys in favor of it? That would be the question that I leave you with. Thoughts? You know where comments section below. And also do me a favor, subscribe to TYT Sports. We hit 100,000. Thank you.